a lot of you have been asking me if I spent the Christmas in my fiance's village. So here is my official Christmas village vlog. We got to the airport and after all the hassle and I paid like a shitload of excess luggage, we finally landed in Uyo. We landed in Uyo because there were no available flights directly to our destination. So this is us at the airport. I put my phone in his pocket so that I could make a snap, but it wasn't working and I felt so bad for him. Then I had this little snack they gave us on the airplane and it was so soft. You could see my mouth saying it was so soft. Our car was running super late and so we just waited and waited and waited. Finally, the cars came and I was just gushing. Like we were all gushing about how clean and beautiful the roads in this airport were. Like Uyo's airport is cleaner than any airport I've been to in Nigeria. Okay, aside you know other international airports but i'm talking like local local airports but guys i spoke too soon as soon as you pass the airport like this hmm, you entered the valley of shadow of death because this road was bumpier than some of your legs after shaving it was bumpier than some of your unlaid wigs and all like we think about was when you guys were fighting me in the comments when i made my afang soup you guys have more things to worry about say eh? acquire people oh i'm an acquire bomb girl i'm an acquire bomb mate you made afang wrong come and focus on this road here, you people stay <laughs> I finally got home, home sweet home, and I went up to my room. You guys, I brought the good stuff, okay? That's the only reason everybody was happy to see me because I got the snacks, I got the sweets, I got the everything that they needed, okay? And now it's time to get into house girl mode proper. I came on the 24th, so the next day was literally Christmas, and this is my Christmas outfit. I only give shout outs on my Instagram stories, not on my TikTok. If you want a TikTok shout out, you're going to pay some money, okay? It's 2024. You're going to pay some bank. And my brother was like, come on, stop showing everybody your engagement ring like you're engaged. Like, we're tired of the fiancé jokes. And let me tell you, I am too. I didn't go to any fiancé's village. Like, a boyfriend, I don't even have. But you guys, I drank an unhealthy amount of malt. And so, when you're in the village, you have to drink malt. In fact, malt is the only thing you should be drinking in the village. And of course, cheer exotic. I don't know how I went from one sugary drink a week to eight sugary drinks a day. But that's what Christmas is for. I also spent a lot of time in the kitchen. This isn't like the city where you'll be filming anyhow. Okay, it's another drink again. <laughs> but I spent so much time in the kitchen eating and making food for everybody else. Of course, a little break for palm wine. You can't go to the beach and not drink palm wine. Like I said, I was just cooking and cooking and cooking anything and everything. The only good part about this is that I actually like to cook. If not, I would have been frowning my face throughout this entire holiday. Being the only girl in the household during the Christmas season, let me tell you, I don't wish this on my worst enemy no you don't eat snail in 2024 grow the fuck up okay i also made like plantain and yam porridge plantain changes everything in the game and of course i ate rice and beans and stew okay just because i don't show you guys actually cooking rice separately and beans and separately and stew separately what did i just say it doesn't mean i didn't eat it i also made catfish pepper soup i'm also like various things i don't have sure to be filming everything okay? and i also give you guys some looks i tried my best to serve you guys some fits all my business casual chic school outfits abuja outfits out the window only agara here only boo boo here like only traditional wedding dress here but i think i actually ate all of these up so screenshot screenshot don't ask me just take screenshots send to your tailor don't ask me anything i also spent a lot of time with my family which is the most important thing and one of my family members is akbu let me tell you i share is in my veins is in my blood i cannot go to the village and not eat fufu like it's never going to happen you don't eat apple because it stinks grow the fuck up okay we had a very serious game night that ended up in the cards being shredded and looking like this also more time in my family so many people came back this was the video i posted and i captioned i'm in my husband's village and then everybody started texting me oh no no are you really married you lie to all of us guys i'm going to stop playing i'm time for seriousness this year so there was this snake that was like curled up in here and hiding but anyway bye bye to you snake then there was this turkey that terrorized me this entire period i know he looks calm but trust me he was a menace and i promised him i was going to use him to make stew and guess who who had the last gobble mr turkey guess who this stew came out so fire and i wasn't eating turkey till like last year because i had this turkey from yellow plate that changed my mind and then that same night of the snake and the turkey a bat came into the house we are very used every single time we come home a bat must come into the house but anyway bye mr bat and then i ended up leaving the village earlier than i thought i would and guys i was here for a very long time at this airport and in the short short time i was here like three whole fights broke out like physical like boom boom like punching fights and i was so scared to be going back because i was flying dana but there was this sweetheart on the plane that really made me feel so comfortable and so safe i didn't vlog this christmas in detail because i like my privacy i don't like to show my family and christmas is about family right so i hope you guys like this really brief summary of the entire how many days bye